More than 30,000 people in the North Carolina area are without power after what's right now being investigated as a criminal act that left two electric substations badly damaged. Officials believe it was a targeted attack and could take days to get the system back online. Bradley Blackburn has the latest. Tens of thousands of people in Moore County, North Carolina, were left in the dark this weekend after an apparent attack on vital electric infrastructure. This was a terrible act, and it appears to be an intentional, willful, and malicious act. The outage started just after 7 p.m. Saturday. The county sheriff says someone fired gunshots at two power substations, taking them offline. The evidence at the scene indicated that the firearm had been used uh, to disable the equipment. Utility provider Duke Energy says the substation suffered extensive damage. Their crews are working to restore power quickly, but that process could take several days. We are looking at a pretty sophisticated repair uh, with some fairly large equipment. With overnight temperatures dropping below freezing, the county has opened an emergency shelter. Resident Andrew Wilkins is staying home with his family, huddling by a fire to stay warm. It's frustrating. It's unfortunate. It's, uh, it's, it's frankly in some levels infuriating. I can say this, this individual that done this, it was targeted. It wasn't random. Officials declared a state of emergency with a nighttime curfew Sunday. The Moore County Sheriff says the FBI is working with North Carolina investigators to help figure out who was responsible. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. And this morning, schools in Moore County were forced to cancel classes because of the problem. The power company is telling residents to brace for continued out outages until Thursday.